Hollywood News Dealer presents Bert Hilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players, with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. Hi, I'm Kukla. Happy Thanksgiving. Well, this is a big day for us. We're doing our show from Detroit, Michigan today. And uh, we're so excited. I, I uh, came up here uh, a little ahead of time to talk to some of our new friends here in the studios at WWJ-TV. And believe me, Uncle Harry Bannister has sent some of the finest boys over here we've ever seen. We're very, very happy to be here in Detroit. And um, we do miss our, our, our friends back in Chicago and all the crew there. But uh, believe me, these boys have really made us feel at home. You know, this is a very exciting thing because three years ago today, um, we, the Cooperpolitan Players, uh, helped open the Midwestern NBC network, uh, and Detroit was uh, on our list of stations that very first day, WWJTV. And uh, so today it's kind of a wonderful thing that we're back um, on uh, visiting here in Detroit on uh, the third anniversary of our opening on the Midwestern Network. <laughs> There's so many announcements to make, I can't remember them all. Oh, and uh, um, we were in the parade today. We were in a big parade there. Detroit has the most wonderful parade. It's, um, it's a, uh, well, when Santa Claus comes to town, you see, and uh, uh, he comes to, to uh, Hudson's here, and uh, there uh, he comes in in a great big sleigh, and they had reindeers, and they had a parade, and we went three and a half miles or, or more right down the street, and just, well, thousands and thousands of people waving to us, and uh, well, it was so exciting, and it was very early in the morning, too, and uh, we were so thrilled, and tomorrow we're going over to visit the Detroit Television Council for luncheon, and I'm um, going to do a little show over there, and uh, I think, uh, Brian, is that all the announcements I have to make? Well, uh, I think it pretty well covers it. You're so far away. Come on over. <laughs> it's like being in another room. I know. This is a bigger studio than we're using. But it's fun, isn't, isn't it? Isn't this exciting? Oh, it's been just wonderful. And hasn't everyone been so gracious to you? Oh. Just wonderful. I, I just think it's the most exciting thing. And I didn't, I just couldn't, couldn't believe it, you know, that, that just here we are in Detroit all of a sudden. I didn't, I knew we were talking about it, but it just didn't seem possible. From the minute we got <coughs> off the train this morning, it's been just delightful. <coughs> One nice surprise after another. Wow. Wow. Well, Hi. <laughs> well, hello. Oh, my feet. Cold? Uh, yeah, cold, and they're kind of tired. Oh, but wasn't it grand standing oh. there on that float waiting? Say, I'm wasn't so glad. I'm so glad that we decided not to wear costumes or anything. Nobody would have recognized me if I'd had a costume on. No, they probably wouldn't. Your hair's a pride. Oh, dear. It was the wind, obviously, blowing up Woodward Avenue. You yeah, should have worn a little scarf or something. Well, I... Terribly sorry. Uh, it doesn't yeah. look better. Oh, it looks better now. Mm -hmm. Don't pull! I'm sorry. Pulling? <laughs> Gotten all snarls and everything. <laughs> I'm just so no. nervous and excited. It's wrinkles in it when the wind blows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is just so exciting to be here. Why? What a big studio. Gracious Isn't it wonderful? This is different. Gami's just miles away from this us. This is a different stage. This is our old stage. Uh, a stage we used oh, three or four years ago. Whoa, <laughs> what's it doing here? It's traveling. Oh, is this our traveling stage? Mm -hmm. Oh, the old stage. Oh, it's nice old <laughs> stage. It's so nice, isn't it mm. great? Well, it's certainly a very exciting What'd day. What did you do all afternoon? Oh, I uh, went visiting. That's nice. Yes, indeed. I uh, had a very interesting over. talk with the customs man. Customs man? Yes. I left the United States today. You didn't. Why, I've forgotten. Why, certainly, Kukla. Right across the river is uh, Windsor, Ontario. Why didn't you ask us to go? Well, I didn't have time. And besides, I just, uh, I just kind of walked across the bridge and just, just for a second, just mm -hmm. to put my foot on uh, foreign soil. Mm -hmm. How did it feel? About the same. <laughs> there wasn't much difference, really. It seemed just about the same mm -hmm. as the United States. It's amazing uh, what a difference a river can make. I guess so. You're out, outside of a country and, and uh, in a different country That's altogether. Wonderful. But you know the people in Canada are very much like the people in America, I think. Oh, and they're so very friendly. They, really they are very friendly. Nice letters. Yeah, I didn't hear any French spoken, though. 
Well, that, that's not in Windsor, Holly. That's way up in Quebec. That's a little ways from here. You only put one foot in. You'd put, in a, put a few more feet in, then you could have heard. Oh, I thought it was so exciting. Just me. Almost like going to Europe. Oh, <laughs> it's so wonderful. I took the boat back. A little ferry boat. Oh, you did? Oh, yes. It was just wonderful. I pretended I was uh, steaming across the Atlantic. <laughs> so wonderful. It's good to be home now. Oh, yes. Yeah. Thanksgiving. Who would think that we'd be in Detroit on Thanksgiving? Well, that's wonderful. Who would think I would be out, out of our country on Thanksgiving? I should say. Usually we're down to... Uncle Bill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, isn't that right, Jack? When the wind begins a blowing and a whistling in the lock, winter's rolling in. There's a butter churn a going and a turkey on the block. Down where the hills begin When the frost is on the pumpkin And the fodder's in the shock Winter's rolling in You can bet your coffee Duncan There's a turkey on the block Down where the hills begin Come the first snappy weather Folks will get together Down to Uncle Bill Down among the hills There'll be all kinds of cousins Arriving by the dozen down to Uncle Bill's, down among the hills. Table set, you can bet, everyone will get lots of turkey. Forty pounds! Then we'll sit and talk and joke, laugh until we choke when the cider comes wrong. All the kids will be yelping for a second helping. Down to Uncle Bill's, down among the hills. Well, it looks like snowing. Soon we'll all be going down, down to, to Uncle Williams, who we would give a million, million to be down to Uncle, Uncle Bill's once more. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> hey, that sounded good, Jackson. I like it. Yeah, that was good. real great. <laughs> I like that, too. Have you seen any of the other kids? Well, I, I haven't talked to Fletcher or, or Bill or any of them since we got back from the freight. I took a long nap. Well, I took a little nap, too. I haven't uh, spoken with anyone, but I did see Madame Oglepuss. Did you? She looked divine. Really? Oh, really? Really? Well, I want to get ready. We're going to do the, um, aren't we going to do the uh, John Alden and Miles Standish show today? We always do it on Thanksgiving, though. Uh, well, uh, a show. Well, it's a little different today, Alex. What do you mean, a little different? Well, we couldn't well, do it exactly the way we... We'll tell you about it in a little while. You'll see. Okay, I'll go look for some of the kids. All right, you want me to go and see if I can find them, too? Hmm? Can well, I you stay and talk to two of you? Oh, well, wonderful. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> How'd you... Mm -hmm. Just don't go away. Too well, I won't go away. How did you come over? Where? Here. Oh, you mean from the hotel? Mm -hmm. In the Cadillac? You didn't. You too. Did you? Yeah. Oh, what was that? Oh, it was divine. Yeah, I waved to people. They didn't know who I was, but no, I waved. didn't know me either. <laughs> I felt so elegant and lovely. I did too. I felt very famous. Oh, and is that Mr. Betts handsome? Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Fair. A nice looking fellow. Huh? Oh, very well, pleasant enough child. Yes, extremely. Awfully nice of them to, to bring the Cadillac to drive us around. And I'm very happy. Very, very gracious. Very, gracious, very, very proud. proud. And believe me, it wasn't I thrilled. The only thing he wouldn't put the top down. I tell you, I <laughs> want to wave to my friends. Well, it's a little cool today for that, would you say? You in a pageant? No, no. Where were you? You weren't on any of the floats. No, no. I was in the crowd taking movies. Oh, it was divine. I am uh, Tallulah letting her camera, you know. Oh, and great. I was taking the most magnificent pictures. It was absolutely divine. Well, I'll be anxious to see them. I thought I saw you on one of the floats. No, no. And the early American pageant, I thought, uh, uh, oh. What? Nothing. Um, now, come in, tell me. Well, the, I, the hat, I, uh, uh come on, Daniel. <laughs> Your hat is lovely. Why, well, darling, I had no idea it looked like that. Oh, it doesn't. He's just having fun. It really is very smart. Oh, it was so exciting, I tell you. Oh, in the crowds, it was, of course, they didn't know one knew me. I went incognito, you know. <laughs> I wore some dark glasses and my, I had my mink coat on and I just mixed with the crowds. And I had such wonderful. a good time. Oh, it was so Where's Beulah? Mm -hmm. Haven't seen her. Oh, she is kind of sleepy today. Oh, is she? We had a little quarrel last night on the train. Oh, I'm sorry. Did she throw apples out of the upper berth again? Uh, no. No, I got the upper berth. Oh. She won the quarrel. I see. Two falls. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I was terribly sorry to, to have to 
get to that point of arguing, but it's just, I just think that Beulah is better adapted for an upper berth. Well, but she doesn't think so. She's very wiry. Yes, I know. Oh, you. Hello, Brandy. Hi, Beulah. No, Beulah, let the... Don't speak to me. Now, After girl, what happened last night, I'll tell you. Look, it's a, this is a... Can I help it if I snore? Well, uh, no, Beulah. I, I didn't say anything about your snoring. Wasn't what you said. She took two pillows and threw them right down from the upper berth. Hit me right in the nose. I'll tell you, I couldn't sleep a wink after that. I'm sorry. I please. sat there and stared out into the distance and pulled the curtains up and looked out into the distance. All Michigan passed before my eyes. It did? Yes, it did. And I'll tell you, I didn't see it very well to think that an old friend, and I do mean old, friend would treat me like that. Oh, Beulah, now let's not carry this too far. This is Thanksgiving, and I should say. we're in Detroit, and we're guests of people, and we must be nice. Just be thankful oh. they were pillows, Beulah. Could have been something so much worse. She couldn't get her hands on anything worse. I know <laughs> she would have done. Now, Beulah, really. Let's get along. Come on, let's see if everyone else is you here. You can ride in the Cadillac afterwards. Well, all right. Shake. We'll all go. Ah! Oh, wow! Third fall! Oh! Isn't yes, that awful? <laughs> Come on, you come over with me. Oh, we'll she's very good at Indian wrestling, you know. <laughs> My wrists are weak, you know. I wonder how Small she does bones. that. You come in so handy. I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, dear. What about the colonel is? Come back here, darling. Hoo-hoo. Come back here. Jack, do you think, Colonel? Uh, not since this morning. Oh, dear, yeah, I do hope I find him. Come back here. Madam Uncle Puss, hoo-hoo. Ophelia, hoo-hoo. Hoo-hoo. Well, I beg your pardon, ma'am. I was looking for you. I was looking for you, too, dear. You all ready for dinner? Well, I should say so. Uh, Ned Corbett's going to take us out to dinner, isn't that right? I hope so. I think it's so divine. Some good RCA friends here in Detroit are going to see us. Well, let's get going, shall we, dear? I have a little pottery up to do. All right, my dear. Fran? Yes? What about that, uh, what about that deal about the, about the packet? Well, uh, I want to, I want to do, I'm Miles Standish, you know, that's a lovely thing. Well, you see, uh, we thought that it would be uh, to the best uh, advantage uh, of all if, if we did a short uh, version today. And so uh, do you don't need to worry about lines or anything because we're going to do more or less of a tableau sort of thing. But Almost a living the statue the thing, you know, that sort of thing. Because it's, after all, it's the... Hey, thing. look what came, look what came, look what came. Oh, thing. good, it got here. Ooh, well, I was afraid maybe we wouldn't get it because... That's the only copy that was over there. Hotel, I was afraid you didn't have yours. Well, no, no, it came, it's you know, wonderful. because, um, of course, in Chicago, we always get it just a little bit earlier than other folks, but, uh, we got it, got it right here on time. Wait till mm. you see. What, what's in, what's in this issue? Oh, Cooper, oh. you remember what was said last, last week about the, about the, uh, young photographer's contest? Oh, the, uh, the picture's winners. unbelievable. The winner's Pictures oh, there too? Oh, yes. Sure, look, look, here's the, here's the, look, see, there's a picture of a young photographer right there taking a picture. Isn't that wonderful? Why, I can hardly wait to see who the winners are. Well, I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, Fran. Get ready for, oh, tableau. Well, I'll get dressed for it, too. Ooh, let's see who are the winners. Who is this is going to be the first announcement of them. I know it. Let's see. Oh, uh, here we are. Oh, uh, winners. Well, we can't announce them all. There's so many of them. Well, let's take... The first three in, in each of the two classes. Uh, now, here's the picture story division. First prize, $3,000, goes to Dennis Stock, New York. New York. Oh, wonderful. Second prize, $1,500, Elliot Irwin. APO for it. Oh, wonderful. He must be overseas. Isn't that wonderful? And uh, third prize to Esther Bubbly. New York. New York. New York really got in there, didn't he? Yeah, that's great. See, there's lots more here. You'll see all the rest of them. We can't read all the winners here. Uh, here, um, oh, here we are. The um, individual pictures division. Let me read those. Okay. First prize, two thousand dollars to Carol Seegers. The second, Miami, Florida. Miami. And uh, second prize, Robert Louis Frank, New York. New York. That's uh, twelve hundred and fifty dollars. Third prize, Ruth Orkin, New York, New York. Twelve hundred and fifty dollars. Isn't that wonderful? Well, look here, the honorable mentions. <coughs> Second honorable. Hey, you think we could read one more name? Who is it? 
Second honorable mention, 15 prizes, $50 each. Art Shea from Chicago. Yeah, our good friend, remember? He took pictures of us and for life one year. Yes, good old Art Shea, isn't that great? Oh, Cooper, now that is a magnificent idea. Well, it's a very important thing, you know, I like to encourage young photographers and Life Magazine has, has uh, had this contest in order to, uh, to bring out young photographers everywhere, show their work, and, you know, by winning contests like this, they become well-known, and in a few years, well, they'll be, they'll be the great photographers of, of, well, in a few years. Well, some of them are now. Well, that's true, but, I mean, we'll be seeing more and more and more of them as the years go by. It's a wonderful thing, a really great thing. Well, I can hardly wait to see the whole issue. We'll look at it right after the show. <laughs> yeah. Well, why don't we do the pageant? Sorry, with me. What was your idea? Well, how about costumes? Shall I use the ones we have? We didn't bring a whole bunch of them. Well, I have them. Um, I want to do the John Alden Mouth Spanish Priscilla uh, one. That's a good one. I like that. That's cute. No, no. If I don't, we just... Speak for yourself, John. Speak for yourself. No. It's always a cute little twist, you know. And she thinks this a fine romance. You know, it has a little lilt. I know, but we couldn't bring all the things that we'd need for such a uh, play. So, uh, don't you think our plan is best? Well, I see, um, this is the way we thought we'd do it. You know, this summer we were in, um, in Plymouth, England. Yes, I know. We weren't in it. We just, uh, we just stopped outside. Mm -hmm. We didn't get up. Well, that's where the pilgrims uh, sailed from, you know. And, uh, and so when they landed, you know, the big rock and everything. Yes, I know, Plymouth Rock. Oh, is that where it got its mm -hmm. name? I thought it was named after a chicken. Isn't that silly? Honestly. No. <laughs> it is pretty no. silly. Which came first? <laughs> now, come on. We oh, had them. All right. And I, um, um, our good friend Herschel Hart brought me something this afternoon. It gave me this whole idea, and we prepared a little script. We just thought we'd do the landing of the pilgrims. Right at the rock. very rock. This is we're getting off the boat. Where are you going to get the rock? Well, let's look. We have one. A friend of ours over in Windsor on CKLW, Val Claire, found this rock right on the shores of uh, Lake Erie. Mm -hmm. Well, how, how could it be? How could it be Plymouth? Well, we just pretend. We're going to play well, the that trick in this. Look at this rock closely. Does it remind you of this little picture? Does it remind you of anybody? Look at it closely. You see? Uh, Don't tell now. Okay. Let me see. Uh, how many guesses do I have? Looks uh, like uh, two. Looks like uh, uh, George Washington. No, nope. no. There's one gone. One more. Looks like we haven't got time. Look, it looks like you. It's beautiful. Too. It doesn't look like me. That's just there. a piece of rock, that is. It does if you look at it closely. It's real. Big. I've looked at it every way. It doesn't look like me. I thought it did. Did I get too close? I'm sorry. Well, let's just... I'm going to get in my costume. You explain it. Yeah, I'll explain it. See, this is just the... Uh, this is going to be the, the um, landing of the Pilgrim Fathers and clearing of the, the great uh, wilderness and, uh, and how they started their colony. Kukla, you know, uh, you haven't got the facts straight on that whole thing. I don't think we should do it just that way. You see... That now, I... We haven't got time to change the script now. And besides, that's the way I learned it in history. I know, but there's been a lot more research lately, you see. And my Aunt Dorothy... Ollie! Well, if you don't want to do it the right way... What's well, the right way as far as we know? All right. I'll get my costume. They don't know. They don't know how it really worked out. I happen to know because my Aunt Dorothy is due writing a thesis on the history of dragondom from early times up to now. And in it, she devotes two whole chapters to the settlement of America by early dragon ancestors. It makes me a little mad. The facts haven't been told. Come on, get in your costume. Okay. All right, friend. All right. You got a little pilgrim music, Jack? My dear? At last. At last we have landed. Yes. Yeah. May I help you? Here, just put your foot upon this rock. From here? <laughs> well, 
Just pretend I jumped. Huh? Right. Now, at last, we are safely on shore. Oh, and isn't America just as nice as we thought it would be? Oh, oh wonderful thing that we are the first persons here. Yes, indeed. Hello, welcome to America. Oh, oh. no, no, you're supposed to. Never no. mind, now listen, you don't know the whole truth about this. Now, Ollie, please, please, go and get your Indian hat on. I'm not an Indian, I'm a dragon. Then you can't be in this You script. can't be. Yes, I can be in this script. Welcome to America. We have worked out a beautiful place for you pilgrims to settle. And uh, thanks, it's so lucky that you're here because today is Thanksgiving and there's a turkey in the oven. Now you spoiled the whole thing. You spoiled the whole thing. We have nowhere to go from here. I haven't spoiled anything. You kids have spoiled the whole thing. That's the whole trouble. You don't know. Did you know the dragons got here before the Pilgrim Fathers did? Oh, Ollie. That's true. My Aunt Dorothy says so. I know, but Aunt Dorothy has such a vivid imagination. Well, it's not imagination. As a matter of fact, uh, the dragons helped very much in getting the Mayflower over here. You didn't know about that, I don't suppose. No. No, I didn't know about that. I suppose we'll have to hear about it. Let's go and sit on this big rock. Okay. Go ahead and leave me alone. Now, lots of people brag about their famous family tree. They're very quick to crow about their early ancestry. We dragons have been rolling round for quite a long time, too. In spite of our omission from the current, who is who? But if the facts were brought to light, I could this bubble burst. Those pilgrim fathers get the credit. But we dragons got here first. Psychosomatic. Probably. What's that? Oh, I don't know. That's what he gets when his jaw goes that way. <laughs> well, I have never heard that version of the story before. I uh, never did either. And I'm not sure that um, Aunt Dorothy is... You know, she does fiction on the side along with her other historical books. I know, but this is true. This is true. You know, those are the days when dragons flew. And many of us flew across the ocean. Well, not I, of course, but my ancestors. My mother's family settled in Boston, you know. Mm -hmm. And they flew across on their wings. And several ships uh, owe their uh, rescues to the, uh, to the dragons who, who puffed and huffed and helped blow them across. Mm -hmm. Well, You so don't believe me, do oh, you? Oh, Ollie, I... Neither one of you believes me. I won't go so far as to say I don't believe you. I just say that I like so many other stories a little better. Well, I'll think up a few. Oh, <laughs> I have no doubt of that. Franny, you know, um, with all this kind of silliness about Thanksgiving and everything, I, I was thinking today when we were...
standing on the float, waving to all our friends. Oh, yes. It was one of the most exciting times that I've ever had in my experience in show business. Well, it was one of the most heartwarming and gratifying to see so many friendly people. I thought to myself, you know, sometimes Thanksgiving goes by and we don't really, well, we don't mean to, but I think a lot of us perhaps forget to take the time out to really count our blessings. And one of the things I, I, I thought right then, I thought to myself, well, now, golly, Kukla, you're all these people, all these people lying up and down the streets, little ones, big ones, and they're all waving and they mm -hmm. call their name. And I thought, we have a lot to be very thankful for. We truly do. And our friends everywhere. Friend, dear, there's a song that you always sing for us on Thanksgiving. It's a very lovely song, a very sweet one, and it kind of tells how we feel. Would you do it for us? I'd love to. <laughs> We gather together to ask the Lord's blessing. He chastens and hastens his will to make known the wicked oppressing. I am too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. <clears throat> Remember to see what's new and to see what's news. Read life. <laughs> magazine just has to be good every week to have become the biggest big magazine in the world. But if it's possible for one issue to be even more than good, it's this one, the anniversary issue of Life. And Life's editors have turned over the entire first half of the magazine to the prize-winning pictures and picture stories in Life's $15,000 Young Photographer's Contest. So what a variety of pictures you'll see this Thanksgiving weekend. And if I had to choose my favorite, I think I'd say it was a series about a little boy describing a fancy costume movie to his pals. You just couldn't believe that a photographer could catch such a cute incident, each gesture without the boys even realizing it. And so this 15th anniversary issue of life is truly something. And when you get your copy, you will actually have a preview of the sort of exciting pictures you'll see in life for the next 15 years. For these prize winners are among the up and coming photographers who will be making picture history tomorrow and whose pictures will have us saying every week, isn't life wonderful? The musical director of Kukla, Fran, and Ollie is Jack Passionato. The producer is Beulah Zachary. The director is Louis Gomovitz. And the costume director is Joseph Lockwood. And this is Bert Tilstrom. Kukla and I are very, very grateful for all the friends we have here and everywhere tonight. <laughs> Family's personal window on the world has brought you Kukla, Fran, and Ollie from Detroit. Be sure to get the new life at your newsstands tomorrow. NBC Television. Mm -hmm.